So the game I'm playing today is called Shroom Catect. This is a game where you are taking care of a group of spirit creatures called Shroomies, and as their name would imply, they prefer to live inside giant mushrooms in heavily forested areas. Your job in this game is to basically take care of them, and there's not really any other goal in this game beyond that, you're just trying to take care of the shroomies. You do of course have to try and supply them with the necessary resources that they need in order to survive, and I'm pretty sure you can also build other structures as well. But other than that, I know pretty much nothing about this game, I'm going into this completely blind as I almost always do nowadays. I found this game on itch.io once again, I kind of feel like I've been covering a lot of games from itch recently, at least in this month alone, but this game is only available on itch, and it's not a free game either, this costs about $6 American. It came out less than a month ago, this was released in 2022, it's a fairly new release, it's a 2022 release for sure. I've been trying to play more 2022 releases in 2022. So far that hasn't been working out all too well, I feel, but anyway, it doesn't really matter. It does have good ratings on itch, and I thought it looked pretty interesting, so I wanted to check it out. From my understanding, this game is mostly meant to be a virtual pet simulator, and I don't believe that this is the first time I've covered a virtual pet simulator on my channel before. I'm pretty sure I covered another game like this in the past. The name of said game is not coming to mind right now, but I'm pretty sure I've played another game like this a couple of years ago on the channel. This also seems to be another game that seems to combine 2D sprites with 3D voxels here, which is definitely an art style that I don't really see all too often nowadays. So, uh, we'll hold click to start. Okay, that's kind of a weird way to start the game, but alrighty, it's fine. Welcome to Shroom Attack, do you want us to go over the game's basics together? Sure, why not? Great, let's start by taking a look at our mushroom. Hold right-click and move your mouse around to rotate the view. Use your mouse's scroll wheel to see the different layers of your mushroom. Alternatively, you can use your up and down arrow keys or W and S. Go back to seeing the full mushroom by clicking the mouse wheel. Try those controls. Okay, hang on a second. L let's see this here. Okay, yeah. I mean, it's pretty... pretty standard controls for a game of this kind. Perfect, now let's select one of your shroomies. You can click on one in the selection bar on the screen's right border, or you can click on them directly in the mushroom view, okay? So, who's this? We got... we, we got Jamie? Nice, with this panel, you can see the state of your shroomies' needs. Shroomies are demi-spirits of the forest. They can't die, but they can be miserable, and they will stop listening to you if you don't take care of them. You also have some buttons there. Place your cursor over them to know what they do. Okay, they, they can't die? Are they like half god or something? They call them demi spirits? What in the frick? Eating, building, and planting things cost resources. You can see those in the top left corner of your screen. If you have too few, you can send a shroomy foraging to gather some. Let's do that now with the forage button next to your shroomy's portrait. Okay, uh, what's this? Build, sleep, eat, forage. Oh, okay, you're, you're gonna go and look for stuff for me, and I'm not gonna pay you for it either. Well done! If you want, you can cancel your shroomies task at any time by clicking on them in the bottom left corner of the screen. But let's leave this one to their foraging. Instead, please select another shroomy. Alright, let's uh, go with... Jan? You're getting the hang of this. You can also give tasks to your selected shroomy by right-clicking inside the mushroom view. For example, you can tell them to dig out a mushroom block or to move to a specific position. Please try telling your shroomy to move somewhere. Okay, you go, uh, over that way towards the flower. Wait, did that not work? Kirby? That seems a little bit on the nose, but... <laughs> Excuse me, go this way. There we go. Yes, just like that. If the shroomy can't reach the position, they will give up instantly. Shroomies can climb walls, but not ceilings, so you'll have to make some accommodations if you want to bring on... If you want to bring one on top of your mushroom, for example. Okay, now with this shroomy selected, right-click on another shroomy and then click on chat. Right-click on another shroomy. Okay. Go chat with Jan. Sure. Good job. Now both shroomies will talk for a while, and this will answer their social needs. Keep any pair of shroomies interacting regularly, and you can unlock many more interactions for them. Since all your shroomies are busy, you can fast forward and tie them with the buttons at the top of the screen. Do that now and wait until the shroomies stop chatting. Okay, why does why does the HUD just disappear when I just leave this idle for too long? 
Does it actually just start moving on its own? Hang on a second. Can I just can I just see this here for a moment? There we go. You, you go talk to them. Okay, so they have hunger, energy, purpose, and social. Okay, they can lose their purpose in life, apparently. Well, that doesn't sound too wholesome. That doesn't sound very wholesome to me. That just sounds real. Perfect. Okay, let's finish by checking out the build mode. You have enough wood to build a torch, so let's do that. Select a shroomy and use the build button next to their portrait. This will bring up a small array of things you can build. Click on the torch. In the mushroom view, scroll down to the ground and place it somewhere with a left click. Okay. The mushroom view. Okay, so let's build a torch. Where's the torch? Okay, four wood. Where... Uh, sure. Let's... Uh, well, let me let me see. Maybe we should place it over, over here. Now we'll have some light for the night. Do check out the other buttons we didn't try together. Also, keep on sending shroomies foraging in the forest once in a while. You never know what they might find. This is all you need to know. The game doesn't have a boss to beat or a goal to achieve. Just keep your shroomies happy. Make a nice little home for them. Take some neat pictures and have a good time. Have fun with shroom attack. Or shroom attack. Already can't pronounce words. This is very much sounding like a Robotnik 35 video already. Okay, anyway. Okay, so what do, what do we do here? What do we do here? Okay, can we just go back for a moment? Um, yeah, so, there is also a photo mode in this game, isn't there? I did hear that there is apparently a photo mode that you can enable somehow. Yeah, I think it's up here. Photo mode. Oh, you can generate GIFs as well, apparently. What are other mushrooms? Can I see what this is? Small Amanita, or Amanita. Jamie, Kirby, and Jan. Small Amanita, three mushrooms, or sh three, sh three shroomies. Shroomies. Rolling my R's there. Oh my goodness. Okay, start a new game. 1 out of 29 unlocked. Alright. So, is there a way that I can potentially get other mushrooms here? There must be. There's gotta be a way. Okay, why are you, why are you climbing up there? Y he's climbing into the mushroom. I can't see what's inside there, though. Is there a way that I can see what's inside there? Yeah, there... Dude, there's a shroomy that's legit named Kirby. Okay. Um... I, I'm gonna send Kirby to go forage. There we go. I wonder if there's any Waddle Dees in this forest. I mean, they, I mean, the little shroomies right here straight up look like Kirby, actually. So I don't know if maybe that's what their design was inspired by. Okay, what are you, what are you doing here? Oh, do you get something? It looks like you grabbed something. Why are you happy now? You're happy because y you got some, some veggies for us? Is that why you're, you're so ecstatic all of a sudden? Did he actually come back yet? I don't think he has. Okay, well, anyway. Um, so, let's let, let's see Jamie here. Oh my god, yeah, you you need to eat. You actually do need to eat very soon. Build, sleep. Oh no, you are you are back now. Okay, plus three, plus seven. Oh, it's crazy what these can turn into. Oh wait, I have seeds as well. Oh. Could I use those to build to grow other mushrooms, perhaps, maybe, possibly. Is it a probability? Okay, this auto saves as well, actually. It is, uh, it feels a little bit jarring, though, because it seems like the game freezes for, like, a, a second or so when it is auto-saving. Okay, hang on. You need, you, you really need to eat right now, so can I, can, how, how do I do this? Hang on. I need to get you to eat. No, I don't want to remove you. Oh, no, there is an eat button. Okay, you eat. Uh, you... you, you Wait, did, did he just eat automatically? Oh, okay, I guess he I guess he does just eat automatically. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, you also need to eat. Okay, there you go. I'm gonna guess that probably gives them energy as well. I would imagine. Oh, I like their little sprites as well. It, it's showing them, like, taking one of the vegetables and just, like, throwing it in their mouth. Okay. There we have it. I think that should be good enough. I would think that would supply you guys with energy, right? If you're eating. Oh god, what did I do? Am I just in the build mode? Did I just... Oh, okay, I think I activated the build mode accidentally. Wait. H -h Hello? Is there is there a way I can disable that? I thought I just blew up the mushroom. Oh god, it's nighttime as well now. Um. Hang on. What did I do? I did something very bad. I think... I think I did something bad. I didn't accidentally remove this, did I? Oh god, I actually might have. Did I remove this by accident? What did I do? <laughs> oh god. N only five minutes in and I already just destroyed their home. What is wrong with me, dude? Why the frick am I like this? Okay, 
Can you- I don't know if I want to send you foraging during the night, but sure, you can go and get more veggies for us, maybe. Uh, oh my god, what did I do? Oh, hang on a second, it's the scroll wheel. It's because I hit the scroll wheel. Oh, okay, you move the scroll wheel around in order to see, like, the different, uh, layers of the mushroom. Okay, I was kind of wondering what this zero thing was over here. Okay, you can activate that with the scroll wheel. What the heck is that? Wait a second. Hello? What are these lights? Are those fireflies? Those are some very colorful fireflies. <laughs> Holy crap, man. Definitely digging the art style of this game. I like the, uh... Wait, Jan was so interesting. I couldn't give a rat's ass. Okay, but the fireflies, though! <laughs> I'm more invested in the fireflies than I am my own, my own, uh, my own pets right here. Yeah, what in the world is that? I'm already digging this game's art style quite a bit, dude. Yeah, I, I do apologize for this cursor on the screen, by the way. But, uh, I don't think there's any way for me to get rid of it on OBS, because it seems like OBS doesn't actually recognize that it's a cursor. So I do apologize for that. Uh, somebody definitely has to eat. Wait a- hang on. J J Excuse me, Jamie, please. Oh, you have very little energy. Oh, he's sad. Okay, well, hang on. I'm gonna make you unsad. I am gonna unsadify you. What? That's not a word. Too depressed for this. I want to see some. Bro, what the frick is this? That- that- this is not wholesome at all. Okay, you wanna- you wanna- hang on, I need to make you chat with someone. Hold... the- chat... with Jan. I feel lonely. Well... okay, wait, who is saying this? No, it is actually Jamie. Well, I'm- I'm telling you to go talk to someone. So go talk to them. Please and thank you. There we go. He gets some purpose in life. Uh, Kirby probably needs it too. No? I guess Kirby does not need it. Yeah, these these names are generated automatically, just for the record. I did not choose to call this little puffball Kirby right here. I guess they are just, like, giant white puffballs. And I mean, isn't this what Kirby originally looked like anyway? Like, in the, the first Kirby game, the, the original Kirby game came out on the Game Boy. And I'm pretty sure in that game, because of the fact that Game Boy games didn't have color, they were all in, like, monochrome, Kirby was literally white in the first Kirby game, but then they turned him pink when, uh, Kirby's Adventure came out, I think, on the NES. Kirby is such a strong shroomy. <laughs> okay, someone- someone's sleepy, apparently? Oh, maybe that's why they're running out of energy, because they- they need to get some sleep. Okay. You sleep during the day, but, I mean, you need energy anyway, so, you know what? It's fine. It's fine. Maybe they're nocturnal. We can make them nocturnal, I guess. Yeah, you just- just take a nap, take a power nap for now. Yeah, but I mean, this is more or less what Kirby originally looked like in the original, like, Kirby game on- on the Game Boy, whose name completely escapes me right now. Was it called Kirby's Dreamland? I don't- I don't remember. All I know is that it came out on the Game Boy in, uh, I think 1992. Oh god, that reminds me. It's Kirby's 30-year anniversary this year. Also, my mind is just wandering to all sorts of places right now. God, what is wrong with me tonight? I am actually turning into a chipmunk in real time. Okay, so what do we- what do we do in the meantime while these guys are all asleep? Is there a way that I can wake these guys up? Probably? I mean, I think you guys have enough energy now, right? Garden? Oh, we can probably plant some more... some more... Uh, flowers right here, I guess. Yeah, do these guys not- not wake up on their own? Hang on a second. Uh... Oh. Wait a sec. I think I just queued up two different sleeps for this guy. I did not mean to do that. <laughs> Hang on, can I fast forward this so just, just- just so that this goes by a lot quicker? Okay, yeah, they- they do wake up automatically after a while. There we go. Uh, how's- how's Jamie doing? I think Jamie's about to wake up here. Okay. I kinda like to make you go forage. And Kirby... Yeah, okay, I- I should probably make you eat in the meantime. Because you seem to be running a bit low on hunger. Maybe make you eat as well. Okay, so I wanna make you garden. I wanna make you go and garden. What- what can I put here? Seed flower harvest more seeds, but no food. Wait, Jan found a neat mushroom while foraging. It's a small inky cap. You can now start a new game in a small inky cap from the other mushrooms menu. Oh. Okay, but I I need to start a new save file for that though. So I'm not gonna do that right now. 
grows into a tree cut down for wood, sapling. Harvest more food, but no seeds. A radish, harvest both food and seeds. Can, what is, can, we, can we see what this is? Can you see what this is right here? Yeah, take the radish, and you go and maybe, there we go, plant it right there. Just plant it right there for now. Sure. Okay, you're back. We got more food. All right, back from foraging. We're gonna we're gonna try and uh, make this grow into something. Hopefully. Okay. Do you do you need to eat? Yes, you absolutely do need to eat. Okay. There we go. There we go. You know what? I'll make you eat one more time. Actually. There we go. Just to really get your hunger up. There we go. That's very nice. That's very nice. I think these guys' hunger is okay. Maybe I'll just make Kirby eat one more time. Just to be on the safe side. Okay, you need to go and, and talk to someone. Feeling great, here comes Kirby. Okay, wait, are you actually talking to Jan? I think I think he's just doing that automatically, actually. Okay, Cur Kirby seems to be fine. Jan makes good points about something, I guess. Because I, I, I can't tell what you guys are talking about. Is there a way that I can eavesdrop on your conversations? I don't really know. Wait... Your your social status is still looking kind of kind of garbo though. So go go chat with her again. Go chat with her again. Yes, I'm gonna I'm gonna just assume that 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 this shroomy right here is female because I mean their name is Jan. So this is probably this is probably okay. Wait, what is this? Can I harvest this already? I am not sure if I can harvest that already. Um. Okay. So what what do we do in the meantime? Is there a way that we can also add like more shroomies to our uh, to our settlement here? I wonder if there is a way. Okay, let me look at my other mushrooms. Oh, so there's there's actually a total of 29 mushrooms in total that we can unlock. Ah. All right. There's actually a lot that we can discover in this game it seems. Okay, well, in that case, you go forage again and maybe you can find something interesting. Okay, Jan's just Jan, Jan is just socializing on her own. Okay, well then I guess Okay, so this is like all these actions are basically getting queued up, and then Jen will just go foraging after she's done talking to other people, I guess. I think this is growing. Is this growing into something? I can't even tell. Oh god, it's nighttime again. Okay, where the are uh, the fireflies gonna come out again? The colorful fireflies? Let's see here. What can we build? Table 10 wood. Platform. Campfire. I mean, there is a torch. Should we put more torches just to really try and light up the place? What is a paper lantern? I don't know what that is. Can we place this on top of the... Oh, I kind of wish that would go in the center, but... kind of wish I'd be able to put it in the center. Okay, well, you guys want a campfire? Apparently, I can put a campfire down here. Okay, wait. Let's build. Can I build a campfire? Where can I put this exactly? I can't put this on this side? Okay, well, I can put it right here. Sure. Okay, how do we get wood again? Yeah, left-click to place, right-click to quit. Okay. Wood for building things. How exactly do I get more wood again? Did it already tell me how? Because I, I just totally forgot already. Okay, that is supplying us with more light, at least. So that's good. How's my garden doing? Oh, I probably... Where did I actually plant that again? I think I planted that on the other side where there's, like, basically no light. Oh, great. That's perfect. That's fantastic. Oh, I guess the remove tool allows me to remove stuff that I don't actually want on the on the map here, I'm guessing. Okay, well, what else could I could I build? There's a bed. Oh, okay, that, that would probably be useful for sleeping. Five wood, two seeds for a flower pod. Wood pile. Support beam. A table. A stool. Pillow. Oh, yeah, that would... That would go well with the bed. Okay, you actually do need to eat again. I should give you, I should give you, like, two of them at, at least. There we go. Actually, I should just make you guys sleep because you are running out of energy again. Uh, wh what about Kirby? Is he also running out of energy? I mean, his energy seems to be doing a little bit better, but I'm just gonna make him sleep anyway. So how exactly does the photo mode work here? Oh, okay. I can make I can make the the field of view bigger. Three by two, one by one, or two by three. Oh, I can I can change the resolution as well, or not the resolution, but I can change the uh, the aspect ratio. Rotate mushroom, holding right click, take a photo with left click, zoom with mouse wheel. Uh, okay. All right. Well, I don't I I don't think I'm gonna mess with that right now because I don't really feel like taking a photo. I just wanted to see how exactly that worked. What does generate GIF do? Oh, okay. 
it just generates a GIF immediately. Oh, save to desktop. Oh, I guess it's already done? Yeah, I really am digging this, like, this art style with, uh, 2D sprites and 3D voxels. I really don't see indie developers doing this sort of art style anywhere near as often as they probably should. I don't know, just because I really like this sort of art style in particular. It's a little bit lower quality than HD 2D, or whatever the frick it's called, whatever Square Enix has been doing with their games recently. Like their RPGs, for instance. I'm, I'm thinking of games like Octopath Traveler or the recently released Triangle Strategy. Yeah, not exactly as, as you know, high quality as this, but still. There is something that's definitely charming about it. Okay, you, you actually do need to eat. Because I, I probably should have made you do that before I, I sent you off to bed. This guy's just, uh, resting by the torch. I don't exactly know how useful that would be. That's, that's, that's emitting quite a bit of light. I'm just saying. It probably would be very difficult to eat around that. Or sleep around that, I, I should say. Oh no, this is definitely growing into something. No, this is growing into something for absolute sure. I, I can see it. Gotta send someone off to forage. I'll send Kirby off to forage here. There we go. He's getting, he's getting some purpose in life, it seems. Okay, so can I, can I... Okay, so no, whenever, whenever I click on the sprite of the shroomies themselves, it actually goes into, into this mode right here, where I can see the different, like, layers of the mushroom. Which is not exactly what I want. Kirby found a neat mushroom while foraging. It's a big blood mushroom? You can now start a new game in a big blood mushroom from the other mushroom. What the frick is that? What is a big blood mushroom? Excuse me? That sounds very menacing for a game that is supposedly quite wholesome. Okay, wait a second. What is that? What in the world is that? Okay, hang on. I need to go and yeah, let's let, let's just get out of that for a second. What is this? Big blood mushroom. Oh, there's more shroomies here though. There are more shroomies. There's five of them that I can take care of in the the big blood mushroom. Do I want to go and do that right now? Because I guess I can create multiple save files here, right? Yeah, it seems... Or, or can I? I don't exactly know. I probably can? I imagine this game would allow me to create multiple save files. Okay, well in that case, I do want to kind of check out those other... Uh, these, these other mushrooms then. Especially the big blood mushroom, because five shroomies, dude? They want to take care of more shroomies. I don't know, I, I feel like that would probably be a lot more difficult, but I mean, it, it, I, it's worth the challenge. It's definitely worth the challenge. Okay, you need to eat something. You also need to socialize with uh, someone as well, so go talk to him. Sure, go do that. You go do that. Okay, yeah, you, you auto-saved at the very least. How's Jan doing? Jan's actually doing pretty well for herself. I still can't tell if this is growing. Oh no, it just grew, in, it just grew into something. Okay, so go get it. Go get it. So, okay, somebody go get it. You go and forge this. Or do I have to? Do I have to right click in order to make you go and get this? Okay, yeah, I do have to right click actually. Okay, that's fine. That's totally okay. You just go and. Uh, I wish I was as strong as Kirby is. Yeah, the dude can literally shove an entire car into his mouth now. Apparently, have you have you guys seen that? The, the mouthful mode in the, the new Kirby game that's coming out very soon. They're adding something new called mouthful mode, where Kirby can apparently just eat basically anything that he wants, including cars. I swear to god, man, Kirby's mouth becomes more and more powerful with every passing day. Also, there's probably an innuendo in there somewhere, but I have no clue. <laughs> okay, we have 22 seeds now, actually. Holy crap. Okay, so what can we do with those? What can we do with those, I wonder? Grow into a tree, cut down for wood. I mean, I guess I could try and grow grow a tree now. Yeah, I will. Can we grow them on all four corners? I mean, I have the seeds in order to do that, so I I, I guess... Let, might as well just do it. Might as well just do it, right? Sure, why the heck not? You still have to eat. There we go. The, oh my god, uh, he's actually... Oh, he's going around and planting the seeds. That's what he's doing, okay. Yeah, it seems like I can queue up tasks for them, though, so... Okay, Kirby... Kirby over here is doing fine. Jan, I think I'm gonna give her something to eat anyway. Actually, you know what? Maybe I'll give Kirby something to eat, regardless of where his hunger's at. Also, I think I'm gonna make him sleep as well, because his energy's getting kinda low. So, 
or we can just take a nap for now. What's Jamie doing? I feel like his energy is still kind of good right now, so maybe I'll just keep him awake for the time being. How about I just get out of here for just a moment just to see what this looks like? Okay, yeah. So these trees are these trees are gonna grow in the meantime. That should be okay. Actually, you know what? Maybe I'll just I'll just make all of you guys sleep for now, and maybe I'll just accelerate this just to see how long it actually takes for them to grow. Let's let's see about this. Let's see this here, just to like accelerate the process. And I guess in the meantime, I can make you go and forage for more stuff because we are kind of running out of food again. Okay, where where are the fireflies? Oh my God, he found something else. Jamie found a neat mushroom while foraging. It's a lavender cap duo. Oh, if it's a duo, then that might mean... Oh, wait, this is times nine? Holy crap, that's really fast, actually. Okay, well, if it's times nine... Or, hang on a second. If it's a duo cap that he just discovered, then that means there's basically two of them, right? Yeah, Lavender Cap Duo, four shroomies. Okay, well, I feel like these trees are probably still gonna take a little while to get all built up. And I would really like to try and check out those other mushrooms, honestly, so... Maybe that's what I'll actually do. Uh, there's probably a way that I can also save manually as well, right? I would imagine. Okay, well, it doesn't matter, it just saved anyway. Well, maybe I should wait for, uh... Maybe I should wait for my other shroomie to get back, just in case she does find something here. I think it's Jamie. Okay, back from foraging. Five more seeds and more wood. Okay, you, you just get wood from foraging, actually. How about we make a table where you guys can all commune with each other? Oh god, that's actually a relatively tiny table. Where do we want to put this? I don't know, right there. What would even be the, the, the purpose for, like, building this exactly? I don't really know, but I guess we'll find out soon enough. Cue it up to make him eat something as well. There we go. Oh god, J Jamie really needs to try and eat something here. Been kind of neglecting him a little bit. Maybe make him sleep in the meantime as well, because his energy is starting to get kind of low. Maybe make you sleep too. Make you all sleep, actually. There we go. There we go. My trees are growing uh, pretty quickly here now. Okay, so... I, I really want to try and do this. I really would like to try and do this. I want to check out some of the other mushrooms here. Let me just see what this is. I'm too curious about this. What in the world is the big blood mushroom? I need to know what this is. Oh yeah, it's just... Oh my god, yeah, it's a. It's just a much bigger mushroom. Okay. There's basically just a, a giant void right here. Where the, sh where the shadow is. Okay, who are all the shroomies that we have here? We got Elliot. We got Monroe. We have... Oh god, who's, who's everyone else? Jesse. Kim. And, uh, his, it, wait, is his name Stevie? Yeah, it's Stevie. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay, yeah, that's a, that's a lot of shroomies to be taken care of here. Uh, what about the duo, the duo cap? Yeah, we can just load an existing game. Okay, what's the lavender cap duo then? Maybe that'll be a little easier to manage just because of the fact that it's only four shroomies. Oh, okay. Yeah, th this is basically lavender. I mean, this is not quite the color that I was expecting, but at least it got, like, two homes to live in at the very least. We have, uh, Geo, Ollie, uh, Johnny, with two N's, and Ben. I mean, I guess I'm basically just doing the exact same thing that I'm doing in my other save file so far, which is just, uh, yeah, you know, trying to, trying to essentially take care of my shroomies here, like, make them, make them chat with other shroomies. Okay, I excuse me. You go, you go chat the Geo, because apparently you're already running out of purpose here. Uh, you, you, oh my god, what am I doing right now? You go and, and chat with someone. Who did I make him go and chat to, actually? I have no idea. Uh, you just go... Yeah, you know what, you can go and forage. You go forage for now, because we're already running low on seeds, somehow. Okay, well, I at least... Again, I at least like the... The designs of these mushrooms, for absolute sure. But it does kind of feel like I am just doing the same thing that I was doing in my other save file. So, I mean... Okay, what is this? What's this blue light over here? Johnny found a medium glowing mushroom. Medium glowing shroom? Oh, so is the mushroom itself a light source? Okay. Well, actually, that sounds kind of interesting. I, I kind of want to go and check that out now. Yeah, so I guess you can unlock other mushrooms 
by sending these guys off to go and forage for stuff. It's like you can unlock different environments, technically, which I, I think is actually pretty interesting. So, I mean, I'd kind of like to go and check out that, uh, that mushroom now. Unless this guy goes and finds something interesting, because I'd like to, uh, I'd, I'd like to send him off to maybe forage. Get a, get a little bit more stuff here. Oh, I guess this would be good right here. Can I, can I make a paper lantern on the side of that, uh, on the side of that mushroom there? Unless they can't actually reach that. Which I thought for sure they, they may have been able to. Oh no, someone's actually going and getting it now. Oh, well, I, I probably should have actually sent someone to go up there and do it, but I guess... I, I guess if I'm lucky enough, they'll just do it on their own. There we go. That that provides a little bit of, of light at the very least. It's lighting up this little flower here. I mean, I guess I could do that for the other uh, for the other lantern as well. Okay, yeah, ben, Ben's going in and, uh, and, and building it here. There we go. Gotta give him some hunger. I think I'm also gonna make him sleep after this as well, because he's running out of energy. Okay, he's just- he's just gonna float on the side of the mushroom there. Okay, well that works with me. That works with me. So I mean, I guess in a way it does- it does also kind of feel like a strategy game, to some degree. Oh yeah, I remember the- the game that I was thinking of before. I said I played, a, another, like, virtual pet simulator kind of game on my channel in the past. I remember what that game was now. It was in San Aquarium. Yeah, and San Aquarium was the game that I was thinking of, in San Aquarium Deluxe specifically. I mean, that game was mostly, like, an action puzzle game for the most part, but I mean... There was a moed in that game where... You know, you, you were basically taking care of all of the different kinds of fish that you could unlock, and all the other, like, weird, uh, anomalies of sea creatures that you could also, uh, unlock in that game. Yeah, there was, like, a virtual pet simulator mode in that game as well, so... I, I would still say it, it basically was a virtual pet simulator. I think it's one of the more well-known games in that particular genre, because it was actually released by PopCap. Okay, we gotta see the dancing fireflies again, possibly. Maybe not. Okay, there we go. We we auto saved at the very least. Okay, I want to check out that glowing mushroom. What is what is the glowing mushroom? Okay, yeah, we do we do create like multiple save files. Okay, what is this? Medium glowing mushroom. Oh, it's green. Oh, okay, it's, it's a radioactive mushroom apparently. Okay, well let's let's check it out. Let's go and check it out. It's a bioluminescent mushroom. Sounds intriguing. And we have four shroomies here again as well. So let's go let's go see what it's about. Probably gives off its own light. Maybe I don't have a... Maybe I won't actually have a use for the... For the torches or the lanterns in this one in particular. We'll see. Okay. Well, that's not what I was expecting. It's white. Well, I mean, if... If we wait until nighttime, then it'll... It'll probably turn green, I would imagine. I mean, who who, who we have here? We got Logan. Charlie. We got, uh... Uh... Az Azariah? Is that how you pronounce that name? And, uh, Noel. We got the Santa Shroomy here, apparently. Okay, so, I, I guess I'll just send one of you off the forge immediately. Sure, why the heck not? In the hopes that they'll find something else that's very weird and unusual. Yeah, I'd definitely like to see if this, if this mushroom does actually glow, so I guess we'll have to wait until, uh... We'll have to wait until nightfall in order to see, in order to see for sure. I guess there's not really anything else that we're doing in this game necessarily, though. It seems like this is the entire game. But we'll see if Logan brings back anything interesting. Uh, okay, does not seem like he did, but I mean, he at least brought back some wood and some food. Okay. Well, that's fine with me. Yeah, but I guess there's not really anything else to, to do here, uh, beyond that, though. So it kind of seems like we're just, uh, taking care of the shroomies here and occasionally trying to build this little mushroom outwards, like, uh, yeah, building- building tables, apparently, which I still don't exactly know what the- what the purpose of those are, but, yeah, I guess, uh, livening it up a little bit. But other than that, there doesn't seem to be anything else to do beyond that, which, I mean, it, do it does feel like the game was meant to be, like, it was designed specifically to be relatively small in scope, and that's fine with me. I mean, the game only cost six dollars, so I wasn't really expecting that much from this to begin with. And I do still like the game, don't get me wrong, but it's like... It does feel like one of those games that's really not meant to be played, like, multiple hours at a time. It's something that you just come back to every now and again just to, like, check up on your, on your pets. You know, just to make sure that they're fine and that they're still alive and well. It does kind of feel like taking care of Tamagotchis, in a way. 
That's, that's kind of what this reminds me of. And I definitely know what that feeling is like, because I owned several Tamagotchis when I was younger. Most of which I'm pretty sure I still own, actually, but I imagine that they're probably, uh... The batteries are probably long dead in them by now. It's not just the Tamagotchis that have passed away, I think the actual Tamagotchi itself is just, like, dead on the inside and the outside. Okay, we're gonna see it light up right now, actually, I think. Here we go. I'm just gonna give you something to eat in the meantime. Oh, is it actually- is it turning green? Oh, I think it is turning green now. Okay, let's see what this is- let's see what this looks like. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay, wow, this is taking a little while to- to, to light up here, but we're, we'll wait for it. We'll wait for it for now. Okay, yeah, well, I- I guess because this part is, like, maybe shrouded in darkness, but yeah, I mean, it's- It looks like it's glowing? But I thought that it would have been, uh, giving off some light of its own, but I guess it doesn't, because everything is still dark. Everything is still dark around it, so... Okay, that's not quite what I was expecting, and I mean, the mushroom seems to be more blue than it is green. You know what other sort of effect I also like here? If I try going to, like, a- to, to a more flat view, there's actually little blades of grass that come into view when you do that. Like, when you- when you move the camera closer to the ground, see how there's giant blades of grass that come into the foreground? I really like that. There's, like, different layers of sprites here. There also seems to be parallax scrolling as well, because it seems like the background is not scrolling at the same rate as the foreground. Yeah, I do really like the way that this looks, man. I love the way that this game looks, for absolute sure. Gonna let Charlie go and forage for now. Why the heck not? So that way maybe he can go and, and, and find something interesting, hopefully. Actually, can I make two of these guys go and forage something? Yeah, it seems like I can, actually. I can send multiple... I can send multiple, uh, shroomies to go and forage for me. Actually, you know what? How about all of you just go and forage? Also, I- I saw something and I, uh, I- I closed out of the menu so quickly. Okay, wait a second. Did he unlock something new? Oh, you got a big Amanita. Okay. I think that's what- that's what they unlocked. Okay. We got a small Amanita and a big Amanita. This is, uh, five shroomies. Okay, well, let's see if the other guys, uh, come back with something interesting. Okay, so... Charlie's already back, and he found nothing of interest. Great. <laughs> well, I mean, he found food, at least, which is obviously a good thing, and he definitely needs to eat right now. Holy crap, there you go. Very nice indeed. Okay, uh... Azariah just came back with more food, actually. You know what? You, you, you go talk to Azariah, because you need to get your social status up a little bit. Okay, everyone else just came back with, uh... With wood and, and seeds, it seems. Alright. You, uh, need to go to sleep for now, I think. You need to try and, and eat something. There we go. I didn't mean to click that twice, but... Oh, the fireflies are back. There we are. The rainbow fireflies are back, dude. Putting on a nice light show for us. Looks very cool indeed. Yeah, that does look very nice. Okay, well, wait. Actually, they stay out even in the daytime? Yeah, they're not going anywhere. Okay, but what exactly is the significance of this? Unless this is just like you know, a random event that can happen at any time, but I don't know if it means, like, anything special. I mean, it might not. And even if it does mean nothing special, I mean, it still looks pretty damn cool. Like, clearly there was a lot of effort that went into making this game and creating the, the, the art design for it. So I definitely feel like this game is worthy of being sold commercially. I can see why they would have wanted to sell this commercially, but I can also see why they would have only sold it for six dollars, because aside from that, it doesn't seem like there's actually too much to do in this game. Which is fine, because it seems like this game was mostly designed to be, uh, uh, smaller and more self-contained experience. I do feel like the game was clearly designed with a relatively small scope in mind. And you know, it's 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 not like this this is the kind of game that you're gonna be spending like multiple hours at a time playing. It does seem like the play sessions for this game are meant to be relatively small. It's just something that you come back to uh, occasionally just to check up on your pets here. I mean, that's pretty much what virtual pet simulators are. You know, they're not like gigantic RPGs with massive, sprawling open worlds or anything. But still, what they have going on here is pretty damn neat, and I do appreciate this sort of art style where it's like combining 2D sprites with 3D voxels. It does look quite lovely indeed. I also totally forgot that there's actually a pause button that you can enable at any point. Okay, well in that case, how about I go back to my, uh, to my small Amanita save over here so I can continue growing out those trees, perhaps. You found a pink hat triplet! 
What in the frick is that? Hang on a second. Does that mean we have... Oh my god, you need to freaking eat. Hang on a second. Okay, well, I mean, this is also why I, w I sent him to go out and forage, because... We actually have no food left. Oh god. Wait, we can actually- can we chop down these trees right now in order to get wood? Hang on a second. Can we actually do this right now? Let me just see. Oh, maybe we can actually do this now. Okay, hold on. We get wood? Oh my god, that actually gives us a lot of wood. Holy crap, 21 wood? Okay, you're back at least. 42 wood? Oh my god, dude. I did not realize that was gonna give me so much wood. Look at this. What in the world? I did not realize that was that was worth so much wood. They're not even... I, I don't feel like these trees are even that large. But all right. Yeah, we got 86 wood. All right, well, you definitely need to rest for now because you're running out of energy. Actually, I think all of you are running out of energy, pretty much. Uh, Kirby also needs to eat here. There we go. Okay, we're actually out of food once again, but I'm just gonna let you guys sleep for now because I need to... I need to look at something here. Oh yeah, we can basically, like, just b build an entire kitchen with all this wood. Maybe you guys would like an actual bed to sleep in. I don't know why I would put it on the top of the mushroom. There we go. You, you just put it right there. And then there, there's a pillow right over this way. I guess I could probably make a make a bed for all, all three of them, though. So I was kind of thinking, like, here and here. And then all three of them would have their own pillows. There we go, because I have enough wood to do that. Oh yeah, I have a bunch of tasks queued up for them. Okay, so when they when they when they wake up, they wake up, they'll probably go and do something, right? Yeah, here they go. I think I think they're building something. Yeah, they're definitely they definitely are. Okay, is Kirby actually building all of the beds for us? What exactly is he doing right now? Also, I'm guessing that maybe when they're tired, they'll just go over here like automatically and just just sleep in the bed, I'm assuming. That's what the purpose of that is. Okay, you you go out and forage, because I, I definitely need more... I need more freaking food, man. I'm just running out of food here. Jamie seems to be fine for now, but Kirby is clearly starving, and so is Jan, actually. So let's just let's just wait for her to come back. Just, just for now. There we go. Okay, four wood. God, you only got two turnips? Okay, hang on a second. Well, you need, you need them more than anyone else, so... There we go. Yeah, so I mean, I'm not entirely sure what else I, uh, I can do here. I mean, I guess there there is also photo mode and generate GIF, but I didn't really want to, uh, I just wanted to see how exactly these functioned. I didn't really want to, like, actually save any, like, photos or GIFs, at least for now. God, I have an enormous stockpile of wood, at the very least, and I think there is also, there was also a pun in that sentence, because it's a, it's a stockpile of wood. We can make wood piles here. I can probably create a lookout tower with this, I just realized, like a platform and support beam. It's probably something I can do with that. Okay, don't exactly know how I feel about the beds being placed near the, the campfire like that, but... Okay, so what was the, what was the other mushroom that they uh, unlocked? Yeah, the pink hat triplet. What exactly is this? I'm probably gonna be ending the video fairly soon, because there's really nothing else that I can think of uh, to do in this game for now, aside from unlocking more mushrooms. I just want to see what the pink hat triplet is, and then I think after that I'm actually going to end the video here, because... Yeah, I, I don't really know what else to do in this game, honestly. I think I've I think I've seen pretty much everything that I need to see. Yeah, it's basically just like a, a tiny virtual pet simulator where you just just take care of a bunch of uh cute little white puffballs, basically, that all look suspiciously like Kirby. And apparently there is a chance that one of them can literally be called Kirby. Yeah, but other than that, it seems like there's not a whole lot to do in this game, and I I, I wasn't really expecting too much from this to begin with. But I mean I do I do like what is here. I'm definitely in love with the art style for absolute sure, and it does seem like there there are a bunch of other like uh yeah a bunch of other little environments that you can unlock, like the the triplet shrooms here. We got uh, Santana. We also have Jerry with a G, Elva, Cleo, and who's the other person? Chris. Oh, okay. Apparently, Deltarune characters can also appear in this game, or at least they can be named after Deltarune characters. <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty sure that's not what that's a reference to, because I know that Chris with a K is a real name that people have been given in the real world of Earth. The real world of Earth, is that a, a sentence that anyone has ever uttered at any point in human history? I guess when just saying the real world isn't good enough, you have to be like, uh, 
unnecessarily verbous, which I mean, to be fair, I pretty much am in most of my videos unnecessarily verbous. I have been trying my best to cut down on that, like I really have, because I know that my... The introductions to a lot of my videos are typically, like, a lot longer than they really need to be most of the time. I'm trying to get better at that, I swear I am. But, I think for now though, guys, I am actually gonna leave the video here. I'm just gonna leave it on this screen for now and just have the... Have the little shroomies just move around and just interact with one another. Yeah, so... There's a lot more to discover in this game than I thought there was, because it seems like there's a bunch of different mushrooms that you can unlock as well. There's 29 of them in total to unlock, so I'm only just scratching the surface of what I of what I can actually discover in this game, it seems. I guess there's essentially multiple environments that you can uncover here. Well, maybe not multiple environments necessarily, because it seems like these all take place in the same environment, but you can unlock different kinds of mushrooms. So, I mean, there is at least variety in the types of mushrooms that you can make your little shroomies uh, walk around in and live around. Yeah, and I'm definitely digging this art style for absolute sure. It does kind of remind me of the PlayStation 1 era, in a way. Because if I'm not mistaken, I think there were actually PlayStation 1 games that were kind of designed in this fashion as well, where they basically had, like, a combination of 2D sprites with 3D voxels. At least I think they did. I, I think there were some games like that on the PS1, were there? Please correct me if I'm wrong, and I'm kind of wondering if perhaps that's where the inspiration for this came from? I don't really know for sure, but it's it's still a, a, a cute little game. It's a cute and charming little game regardless, and if you guys want to go and purchase it, because just, again, keep in mind that this game is not free. It costs $6 on itch. But if you guys want to go and buy the game and try it out for yourselves, the link will be in the description. If you're into these sorts of virtual pet games, I guess if you have ever, like, if you have grown up playing with Tamagotchis, which I actually have myself, then I think you should definitely give this game a try. But at the same time, uh, don't expect all that much from it, because, I mean, it is just a virtual pet game after all. I do believe the play sessions for a game of this kind are typically gonna be pretty low, and I'm pretty sure the developers are keenly aware of that. But yeah, go check the game out and support the developers if you can. It was just a really neat-looking game that I just wanted to show off to you guys today, so I wasn't really expecting much out of it, but I was, I was kind of surprised by it. I was pleasantly surprised by some of the things that I managed to uncover here, so I'm happy about that at least. The only platform that this game is available on is PC right now, because I think the only place where you can buy this game is on Itch. I don't know if it will ever come to Steam at any point, but if it does, I will come back and update the description of this video to the link to the game's Steam page. I'm not sure if the game will ever be brought over to Steam, but we'll see in due time. But for now, Thank you guys as always for watching, and I will see you in the next video I make. Later!